was poppin'. Brand new whip just hopped in. I got options. I can pass that. What it do, T-Squad? It's your girl, Keisha, a.k.a. Color Me Pink, and I am here with a brand new behind-the-scenes tea video. But this isn't just any behind-the-scenes tea video. This is an exciting one. Love B. Scott has exclusively dropped the season 15 trailer for The Real Housewives of Atlanta and T-Squad. T-Squad, listen up and listen closely. Atlanta might just be back, honey. Atlanta might finally be back. After a few snooze fest seasons, we might actually be getting back the OG Atlanta that we have been wishing, praying, and hoping for. Yes, God. This trailer, honey, was everything and a bag of chips. Yes, ma'am. I have actually watched it four times. It was that good. And I'm not even exaggerating. No, ma'am. Y'all know I will tell y'all the real deal. Holy feel. This was a good trailer. So if the season matches up to the trailer, we are in for a treat. But I'm going to break down everything in the trailer because everything was happening so fast. There's so much drama. So many new cast members. OGs are coming back. There's so many you know, infighting, people getting into it, new loves, disillusions of marriages, friendships, deteriorating. Baby, I'm going to break everything down for you guys. But before I do, I also want to share with you guys that I have officially made my T-Squad membership. Yes, you can click join right now and get exclusive content that only my T-Squad members will receive. For $4.99 a month, my T-Squad Pro members will have exclusive access to my Monday night live stream at 6 p.m. Central Time. Every Monday, I will be going live for my T-Squad pro members and the live will be a live stream of my spill the tea behind the scenes tea nostalgic tea i will be doing live call-ins we'll be playing games there'll be giveaways and other special things every monday then if you want to take it up a level for my t squad max members yes the t squad max members will have access to not only the monday live streams but the T-Squad Max members will also have access to a bonus video every month that will be either a cooking with Keisha, a vlog, a story time, a haul video, a makeup tutorial, a interview with um, a fellow author or celebrity that only you all will have access to a live reading. You just never know what you're going to get. And it's going to be so much fun, you guys. The T-Squad Max members will have, like I said, exclusive access to a more personal side of me. If you really want to get to know me on a more personal level, get to know my everyday life, my family, you will have exclusive access to that. So make sure you guys join the T-Squad and we're going to get it popping, baby. Yes. Now let's get into this Real Housewives of Atlanta T. Exclusively premiering on lovebscott.com, the season 15 trailer finds our current housewives, Candy Burris, Kenya Moore, Marlo Hampton, Sheree Ritfield, and Sonya Richards-Ross turning up and popping off with both old and new friends. Yes, ma'am. The trailer begins with the ladies relaxing while taking a calming sound bath, but it's quickly clear there's a lot they need to clear from their minds. You hear and see Candy say, the only reason I'm crying right now is because I can't choke your a-S-S-B. And baby, it wasn't no regular B. Candy put her soul, she went back and gathered her ancestors with that B. I ain't never heard Candy call somebody a B with that much bass and grit in her voice, child. And it, it, it gave me chills. 
It gave me chills, honey. Marlo better leave Candy alone. Candy is not playing with her. But remember, Candy has been saying in interviews that the girls were coming for her and she had to check some folks. And baby, Candy, we, we getting bur red burgundy her candy back, honey. Yes, ma'am. Then things then kick off with Marlo versus Drew with a clip of Marlo seemingly calling Drew a deranged, bad-bodied actress. Lord Jesus Christ, if the lady ain't going through enough. It's not all drama, though, with Marlo. We quickly see her check in with her nephews to see how she's doing as a munty. They say she's trying. <laughs> Like, girl, I guess. As lovebscott.com exclusively reported back in January, we see that Kenya Moore is indeed entertaining a rich white man introduced to her by official friend of the show, Monietta Shaw. Okay, now y'all know Monietta over there with a white man, so I guess they done hooked Kenya up with one of her husband's white friends, honey. From what I saw in the trailer... You know, Kenya was saying how fine he was and he might just be Mr. Moore. And I was like, well, all right. I need to get a better look at him. No, I bet I need to get my eyes on him and assess him to see if we about to have another Mark situation on our hands. Because we ain't got time for that, honey. No, ma'am. Marlo is quick to exclaim, though. I went on a date with him before, but Kenya isn't buying it. I'm like, here we go. Here we go with this mess. Can Kenya just catch a break? Can Kenya have a man? Lord. Meanwhile, Sheree and boyfriend Martel Holt, Martel Holt, seem to be enjoying their romance with talks of OnlyFans. Ew. <laughs> we then see a clip of Martel pulling up his pants and us getting a view of his package. It was nice looking from what I saw, but this is Martell that we're talking about. I, I just, oh Lord, Father help us. The newest housewife, Sonia Richard Ross, appears to be going through some family matters. Her husband, Aaron, says he's ready for her family to move out. And I don't blame them. It's too much. It's too much going on. You got her parents living over there, her sister, her sister's husband, they kid. Then you got Sonya and Aaron's son running around the house being bad, not listening to nobody. It's too much. It's a circus. And as a grown man, I want to be able to walk around my house naked if I want to. Okay. I want to be able to walk around the house with my boxes on and can't nobody say nothing to me. And I ain't got to be feeling uncomfortable. I want to be able to crack my wife back and not have to worry about being quiet because her mama and daddy might hear. Like, that's just a lot. I know Sonya love her family, but girl, get them a house down the street or around the corner. That way you can just walk down there and see them when you want to. And she crying and everything. And I'm like, girl, grow up. Drew and... Egghead Ralph can't quite seem to get it together. Ralph has moved out of the bedroom, Drew tells their therapist. Mm. Girl, that, that, that was a blessing. <laughs> that was a blessing. Let him move out. Why he got on one of your old blazers, girl? Where he get this blazer from? It looked like a woman's blazer. It's all big. And girl, let, let girl be happy he moved out the bedroom. He did you a favor. Who hasn't filed for divorce? Ralph counters later in the therapy session. So, honey, the writings was on the wall that these two was getting a divorce. But, you know, we've been called that since they first season on the show. As you know, Drew and Ralph both filed for divorce within minutes of each other a few weeks ago. If you thought Candy was going to make it out of this season unscathed, think again. Candy's personal life is no stranger to drama, but the past year we've seen her business make headlines for, well, 
pow pow pows <laughs> remember they had that incident at one of her restaurants so that will be a discussion i don't know if we go to old lady gang if we're going to get biscuits or bullets sheree says in a confessional sheree ain't shit the ladies seem to be all on the same page when sheree announces they're all going to portugal or is it spain as per kenya Speaking of Kenya, the last we saw during the Real Housewives Ultimate Girls trip, Kenya and former housewife Cynthia Bailey weren't on good terms. As lovebscott.com exclusively reported, Cynthia is indeed making a not so surprising cameo this season. And it seems as though she and Kenya have made amends, which they have. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. And Kenya, I mean, and Cynthia makes more than just one cameo this season. She's actually filmed quite a few times with the ladies as a friend of the show. I'm so happy to see Kenya, Cynthia, and Candy back together. Love that trio. The biggest surprise, however, is that Kim Zosiak Beerman, Lisa Wu, and Deshaun Snow are back together along with Sheree Whitfield for the first time since Real Housewives season one. Now that, that right there, honey, priceless priceless to see the ladies back together the only person missing of course is nene but you know that ain't happening don't need to see kim on my screen ever ever again but you know she over there going through financial problems so of course she was gonna crawl her way back somehow some way happy to see lisa back and i'm just so happy to see deshaun back because deshaun i felt like didn't get a fair break you know she was only on there for one season I want to see Deshaun. So this is going to be so dope to see Deshaun back on our television screens and to see the original OGs all together once more. The trailer concludes with Sonya questioning if Kenya's butt is real after Kenya is seen taking a hard fall. Honey, she falls and busts her butt for real. So if it wasn't real, honey, she might have needed some repairing. Kenya popping off on Sheree's man, Martel. Marlo kicking Kenya's door. And Candy threatening to headbutt newbie, Courtney Rose, who is appearing this season as an official friend of the show. Baby, it is going down in Atlanta. Atlanta knew that they had to come back and give the audience what we have been begging for because honey they have been hanging on by a thread these last few seasons but this this trailer is giving me everything and more that I could have ever asked for I'm super excited the new season of the Real Housewives of Atlanta airs on May 7th on Bravo Following Real Housewives of Atlanta will be Summer House Martha's Vineyard. Make sure you guys check that show out as well. It is going to be a banger. For anybody that watches Summer House on Bravo, we are finally getting an all black cast. Yes, ma'am. And we're going to be seeing black socialites, entrepreneurs. We're going to see couples, friendships, drama, romance, partying, all of that and more. We'll be seeing these black people get together every weekend in Martha's Vineyard and staying in a house together, a beautiful house together, partying, fighting, loving, laughing, everything the trailer was also released today so make sure you guys head over to youtube and check out the summer house martha's vineyard trailer it is going to be lit i will be reviewing both shows we really want to support summer house martha's vineyard because it's an all black cast we got to get another all black cast show on bravo so make sure you guys check out this trailer and support that show as well let me know down below in the comment section you guys what you think about this trailer all of the tea i will be doing a real housewives of atlanta promo pick fashion killer video you know i gotta break down the fashions for their promo honey be on the lookout for that next week 
Oh, I'm super excited. I'm about to go look at the trailer again, child. Make sure you all thumbs up this video, like, and subscribe, hit that notification bell button, and join the T-Squad membership, you guys. I love you, and I'll see you on the next video. Bye.